Hi guys, it's Candy Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're at Harrods and this is like my, the jewellery vlog part two because so many of you like the jewellery vlog I've done. So today I'm going to do a watch version to that jewellery vlog. Hopefully they have the watch that I really, really love in Van Cleve. Um, but we are going to um, put a little bit of shopping in too because I've actually got an 11.30 appointment with Bendy because they've got the Calibri customization thing. Um, today's the last day in Harrods. They done it in Bond Street and Selfridges and now Harris stays the last day so I booked an appointment for that just to see the different customization options so I'm going to go there now and then we're going to go and get into the jewelry stuff okay so guys the manager just told me they've just received the new collection which I'm sure you guys have seen online it's so beautiful the um, Kim Jones one so they've got some pieces in um, this looks like the kind of customization of what I'm gonna see in a moment, but um, let's have a look. Although I'm not sure the pieces that I like are, are here yet. Maybe they haven't had the deliveries of everything, but um, yeah, you can see some of the pieces. Like this collection is so nice. I think because it's just got neutral tones, which I love. And hello, these earrings are so nice. These are cute. And they've got the sandals, guys, you would have seen these. So cute. And this whole outfit. Oh yes, they do have it. This jacket, I posted this on Instagram. This coat, shall I say, is amazing. Like, oh my gosh, let's see how much this is. I think it will have the price. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm Ella, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay. So guys, the essay was explaining there's two heels, so they've got the kitten heel and the 85 yes they do have you know the high heel but they don't do it in this kind of customization option just these two and you can choose from these for the main shoe this is mink um, and then you can choose like the back so as you can see you can put your initials along the back here but they've got a few colorways for the back and you can just kind of like play around with them and mix and match kind of what you'd like um as you guys know the options for me would be up here because i don't like bright colors or anything too excited and they've got some more in this oh the materials on their own okay i see so here guys they've got just the material kind of cutouts like this and you've got a velcro kind of shoe template that you can stick them on and play around with so i'm going to play around with a few options the manager kindly bought me a beverage and some snacks but yeah i'm going to play around with some options guys and see if i like anything so guys i designed these with this main part, this strap and a gold heel. I'm gonna try these two on to see as well if I like it. Guys, this is the next one I've done with the black back. I prefer the black to the FF straps at the back. Then we've got this zebra stripe looking thing on the top with the gold heel. And then next I will try that with the FF faint print in the mesh with the same gold heel and the same black strap. The SA said the initials you can change it from silver, gold, red, there's a few colours you can have your initials in at the back. But um I don't know. There's not that many options to be fair. I thought it was more like computerised where you can kind of choose various options. But yeah. And this is the last option that I would kind of go for, really. 
just plain black with a gold heel but not anything too exciting I guess hmm. well there's this option I suppose guys with the sequins and the black straps and I put a gold heel on Oh, what do you think about this, guys? The black and white beads, black straps, and put maybe a gold or black heel on there. And then initials at the back. So, guys, they've got some custom ones that they already have pre built. And I didn't think that this would look so nice. So, it's the black and white beads. I'll probably change the strap to uh, all black strap and have the bigger heel because this is the kitten heel but I think I really like this I'm really contemplating on maybe getting these ordered so guys there's this option the beads the black strap and the gold heel or we can switch out the gold heel for a black heel This is it with the black heel. I think the gold just makes it pop a bit more. So it looks different. What do you guys think? Guys, she's just gonna check the price of that color combinations I showed you. Look at this Fendi Teddy. It's so cute. I don't think it's for sale, but um, it's so cute. No, no, no. So guys, this is for sale. You can order one of these for 3,500 if you like the look of it. It's real shirling. So guys, I'm trying on the coat. This is Italian 40, which is a UK size eight, but it's very oversized, as you can see. This coat is so pretty. It's actually so nice. 6,100. So guys, these are the watches I've chosen from Rolex. This is 28, 28, 31, 31. As you can see, this is Mother of Pearl in the dial and the rest is champagne gold. Some have diamonds on the bezel, some have diamonds in the face up on the dial and this one has both. So I'm going to try them all on to see. Guys, this is the 28 diamonds on the bezel and on the dial. It's so pretty. So guys, this is the mother of pearl with just the diamonds in the dial and not on the bezel. 28 um, size again. I just think this size is so cute like on my wrist because my wrist is quite small. But I don't like the mother of pearl, I prefer the one I tried on this. This is supposed to be silver, I thought it was champagne. This is champagne color, even though it's very gold, but I like those better than the mother of pearl, I think. So guys, this is the 228 side by side, both diamonds on the dial and the um, bezel and just diamonds on the dial. Again, very pretty. It's more you, I think. So guys, this is the 31, so bigger, with just the diamonds on the dial. I like the 31, but I don't know, there's something about the 28 that's so cute. Guys, this is 31 with the diamonds uh, on the dial, none on the bezel. I don't know which one I prefer. So guys, this is both 31. Diamonds on the outside, diamonds on, on the dial. I don't know, they're both just very different looks. I don't know which one I prefer. Okay guys, so we've done with Rolex. Um, so I think 28, 28 is the one for me, the size. Um, probably diamonds in the dial. I think the diamonds on the bezel are like even nicer, but yeah, I'm going to go into Van Cleve now and then after Van Cleve we're going to go into Piaget, so see you guys soon. 
So guys, this is not the one I wanted. I wanted the yellow gold. It's all yellow gold and it's got yellow mother of pearl and also got diamonds in the um, gold motifs. But this is the rose gold one and it's got the pink mother of pearl. I'll show you a picture of the one that I want. I'll insert a picture. So guys, this is the white mother of pearl version and it's got the motifs with the diamonds, the mother of pearl and the motifs without. So it's similar to the one that I want in a sense it has a diamonds and the um, pink one didn't have the diamond motifs but not quite what I'm looking for. So guys this is a different style where the uh, motifs obviously cut out and just got the diamonds around the edge. Um, very pretty but this isn't what I was looking for. I was looking for the yellow mother of pearl with the yellow gold and but um, they don't have it. But this is very pretty. It's another option. So guys, this is all three of them. This is 27,000, this is 19, no, this is 13,000, and this is 19,000. This is the same price as the one I want because it has the diamonds. This doesn't have the diamonds. But yeah, they're all pretty. Very pretty. So guys, I've come to Bulgari before going to Piaget. Do you guys remember I tried on this ruby one? the bracelet on the um, right. They've now got the one in the middle. Can you see with the sapphires and emeralds? Well, I think it's an emerald. It may be, a st actually it's not emeralds, it's a stone um, rather than a gem. But can you see that? That, I mean, ruby's my birthstone, but I don't like red, but you know my favorite color is blue. This bracelet is amazing. She's just going to get some of the watches for me. So guys, this is the sapphire and green malachite. It is in rose gold, but it's quite subtle because it looks yellow gold to me. This is so pretty. This is 10,000. This is amazing. Look at that. So guys, this is the new model of the Serpenti watch that has just recently been launched. This is the only version in the yellow gold. They have one with diamonds on the bracelet, but it's in rose gold and white gold. So this is the yellow gold version. So guys, this is the other Serpenti model full diamonds white gold absolutely gorgeous like the video is not doing this any justice this is beautiful the SA kindly took me out of the Bulgari shop to bring me to their Bulgari pop-up which I didn't know they had because I came from a different entrance displaying all the Serpenti range so guys, this is the bag I saw on my essays WhatsApp. I've just been told it's like 230,000 pound bag, but it's one in the world. So it's not just one in London, it's one in the entire world. And look at the head on this, guys. This is beautiful. The essay was saying that this stone, what's it called again? Periba. Periba, it's super rare. Like it's a really, really rare stone. So guys, it's 20 times rarer than a diamond. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> so guys, she's gonna take this off. It's actually detachable, so you can wear it as a necklace, put it on a chain. It's actually a pendant. So um, this is amazing. So guys, this is what's underneath the head. When you take the head off, this is what's underneath. So you can wear the bag like this. And then you've got the head that you can wear as a bit of jewellery. It's so precious. Guys, they've got a secret room. Serpenti secret room. So let's see what's in there. Wow. So this is the secret room with all of the jewellery displayed on these screens. Amazing. So 
supplies. I'm in Piaget. They have no yellow gold of anything. Rose gold or white gold, basically. But this rose gold watch looks yellow gold, so it's not that bad. I ideally do not want a strap. I want a bracelet, but it only comes with a strap. Um, but super pretty. So, guys, this is the other one that I like the look of. Again, it's a strap rather than a bracelet, but it's got more diamonds, more sparkle. So pretty. And how much is this one? 128,000 pounds. 128, so it's just over double the other one. So guys, this is a rose gold again in a 26 millimeter size, so smaller than what I've ever tried on, but it's, it's cute. It's got diamonds on in the dial and on the bezel. So guys, I saw this in the window. This is supposedly rose gold too, but it looks very kind of yellowy to me. So um, I quite like this one. This one's 52,000. This is quite cute. Guys, I've given in. I'm buying these cocoa dusted almonds that I showed you in my birthday vlog. Um, I'll link it up above if you haven't seen that. But yeah, these are amazing. You guys, if you live in London, come and get these cocoa dusted almonds. I've seen some cocoa dusted pistachios. Um, I wouldn't mind trying those, but these are just fabulous. Guys, I was just about to pay for my almonds and I saw golden cocoa dusted almonds. They're just golden. The same thing with gold. Can't go wrong with gold. I'm gonna buy these instead. So guys, I've seen this Luerbe brooch online and they have it in Harrods. It's 175 pounds. Um, I do like it. I'm in two minds whether to buy it or not, though. So, guys, they found the Lame Gucci hat in blue for me. I'm not sure if it suits me, but we might as well do a quick outfit of the day. Minus the hat, I'm wearing this Colton neck racer back black top. I've got my Chanel sunglasses, black cargo pants, Chanel trainers, and I've got my classic flap that I got for my birthday. Hi guys, so I'm actually nearly home. I'm actually well outside my house. I forgot to end the vlog. So thank you guys for watching this jewelry edition part two. I hope you enjoyed it. It's so hot outside, it's like 29, 30 degrees today. So I'm gonna go in and cool down. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.